Now, who is the day one and day destiny five combination? In fact, driver one and conductor five combination. So, amazing combination. If you want to know about your careers, lucky numbers, and some important tips, what makes this number combination amazing and special? I'm about to share. Stay with me. Hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chinani. Welcome to Invincible Fashion Talk Show, where every week I share with you some of my thoughts and insights that make you unique, and how you can harness the power of your numbers and planetary influences to make your life successful and abundant and joyful. Well, before I share, quickly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss the episodes I release here every Wednesday and Sunday in English and Hindi. So far in the series, we have discussed about the combination from day one to destiny four. Today is all about day one and destiny five, or you can call it driver one and conductor five. This is someone for day one is someone who's born on first, tenth, nineteenth, and twenty-eighth of any given month. And destiny five or conductor five is if you add your entire date of birth, and it gives you five. If you get two-digit number, reduce it to get a single-digit number five. Overall, personality-wise, they are very attractive. Magnetic personality, great communicators, smartness, intelligence, creativity, and entrepreneurial and innovative spirit. What a combination! They're confident. They are leaders. They have ideas. They finish it. They lead. They like to lead, and they can communicate well. So you may have heard that people have ideas, but they don't implement. These are the folks who have ideas. They can turn it into a business and make it successful. Career-wise, they can do very well in business related to anything they put their mind to. They are great administrators, great CEOs, communicators, business of anything they put mind. But usually, travel, tourism, communication related. So think of wherever you can get creative or you put your mind to. Doctors, surgeons, judges, politics—they thrive very well, even in the education field. One thing they like to be at the top. And they communicate well. Such an amazing combination. Not only the ideas, but they know how to implement, and also talk about it, market very well. So they can do great in marketing, virtual industries, or franchise sales commission business as well. Attitude-wise, this is one area where they need to work. When I say all that amazing combination, sometimes makes them arrogant and rude. They. Are incompatible. They don't get along well with others. They just have to find their zone and realize that it's not about telling others what to do. It's how you can align and mingle with the larger group. Because if they do not fix this habit, they get into trouble, some legal troubles, or they become part of some defamation. And this habit, let's talk about marriages. They go for love marriages. Some of them, compatibility. They are such a strong personality. For someone to marry them, they need to really align. They like to tell others what to do. Their partner might feel intimidated. To bring compatibility, they need to realize it's equal relationship. They need to understand others. Because that may create some rift, and you do not want to be in a relationship out of fear or submissiveness. Overall. Marriage-wise, they go for love marriages. If they have that compatibility, it's really good. Health-wise, the stress, anxiety, irregular food eating habits, and eating anything and everything causes trouble. The gas, the digestive issues, or the headaches, or the migraine, or the eye aches. It all starts with not having a routine. They are workaholics. They are materialistic, money-minded, or they get ideas. They really want to implement now, then, and there. So that's where they need to work. Otherwise, they do great. For them to find that balance, this affirmation will help. I appreciate my freedom with accountability. You can chant any time of the day, a few minutes or hundred eight times, whenever you feel you need to bring back your zone of balance. One concern usually, what I've heard from this combination is lack of focus, or they lose the focus. They have so many ideas. They start one. They want to do this, do that, do this, do that. You rather do one thing, complete, finish to the end, than jumping on to the other. I'm suggesting 
suggesting here some bonus tip for that as well but let's talk about your colors try to use your lucky colors light yellow light orange the green family and monday and wednesday is your day additionally the numbers that help you more are the families of one three five six and nine so one is someone first in 1928 three is third 12 21st 30th five is fifth 14th and 23rd similarly six and nine Use those numbers as dates for important meetings or time. Use your colors, all that together. But still, if you're struggling, change your habit. Be grateful. Also, focus on one thing. And for focus, you can use the switch word intend, intend, intend. You can do 45 times any time of the day. But day-wise, Sunday and Wednesday is your day. Monday also does good for you. And I may have said some days here already, but keep in mind the Sunday, Monday and Wednesday is for you. When you use your lucky colors, you're mindful of what you say. This combination can take you to the end, but be persistent. This combination gives you success easily, very easily, or your things get done and support. But what makes you have that success for the long run and you enjoy, don't lose sight of your family and those who stand with you. Overall, a great combination. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to let me know here if you have this combination, what part resonated. But I will let you know that not everything here was relatable to this combination. Some parts will absolutely relate. Do share this with your friends and family and I'll see you soon. Take care.